peace be to you. The gospel today invites us to reflect on the prayer of Jesus. Jesus prayed for all the Christian community, for all the people who were going to receive the word of God and believe in Jesus. These people were the Christians who were going to believe in Jesus generations after generations. Jesus prays even for us individually as a community even today he prays and he prays for the unity this unity has got to two dimensions the first dimension was the vertical dimension father and son father and Jesus it is a deeper love, love between Father and Jesus. The second one was the horizontal. Among the people, among the human community, loving one another. So, as Jesus' relationship posed some challenges, opposition, rejection, from the world, the disciples' relationship with Jesus and to the Father will pose challenges to the world. So, because it was going to be a deeper relationship, a relationship which was revealed in Jesus, the relationship of the Father revealed in Jesus. The revelation was fully revealed, fully open in Jesus. So, this unity for which Jesus prays, one should not think that we can have a program of communal institution or communal reformation in a particular institution the gospel speaks about community relationship with Jesus. As Jesus had a relationship with the Father, the community must experience the same relationship of Jesus who had a relationship with the Father. So that is the unity and that is for which Jesus prays today. So, all of a sudden people start to think that Jesus was speaking about the communal diversity and all of a sudden people take up a, a program of communal reform and this, this work of gospel is not challenging the world of its diversity. But it speaks about the fourth gospel, St. John speaks about the unity with the Father, unity with Jesus, the community as an individual and as a community having relationship, a deeper relationship with the Father, with Jesus. So a Christian community is called to experience the same relationship that Jesus had with the Father. If the community have not aimed at towards that relationship, it has not fully experienced Jesus. So every day the Christian community as an individual as a community is called to be united with, the, with the Jesus and to the Father, with a mutual love, with a deeper love with God. So that is for which Jesus prays. 
So, dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, when we have love with Jesus, automatically all our differences, all our diversities, unnecessary diversities will simply cease to exist. When we do not look at Jesus, when we do not look at the Father, when do we do not practice the relationship with Jesus and Father, we look at all kinds of diversities, all kind of kinds of communal diversities existing in the world and we look at it and we practice over that. That is not Christian life. The Christian life is that looking at Jesus, looking at the Father, we bring everyone to be united with Jesus, with the Father. And that is for which Jesus prays and that is for which the disciples preach the gospel and basing on their, their faith and words, we believed in Jesus. So let us be united with the Father and the Son. Heavenly Father, we thank and praise you for all the gifts you have showered upon us. Thank you, Lord, for this beautiful day. We are divided by many things, Lord, many petty things. We cease to look at you, but we start to continue to look at our differences. Help us to look at you so that we may forget all our differences and be united with you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.